Two bodies found under an overpass in northwest Georgia. News Chopper 2 shot this video high above the scene there at the Etowah Bridge. They were found with bags over their heads. This is a different kind of feeling. Right where I'm at is where they found the two bodies just weeks ago. It's a real crazy feeling, you know? I mean, usually we come out here looking for treasure and want to find amazing things, but today is a different kind of feeling, a different kind of video. It's really sad that two people were murdered and dumped right here, but what we're gonna do today is we're gonna get in the river and we're gonna scour the areas that the cops may have missed when they was diving. And if we find anything, we're gonna help out the cops and we're gonna hand it over to them. Maybe it'll speed up the process to find out who killed those two girls. Today I've got two other YouTube channels joining me to help search the river for any clues. I got Britain from Depths of History. The purpose for today's dive is we are actually trying to solve an unsolved murder case that happened by this river. It's gonna be a cool dive. Hopefully we can help solve this case and bring some closure to the family as well. And I'm diving for the first time with Bryce from Outdoors Weekly. Random question, coffee or tea? What? Coffee or tea? Ah, neither. Okay, that's perfect. He's a big magnet fisherman and he has a channel that's huge finding treasures and finding other amazing things. He's also gonna suit up and help us dive this river and see what we can find. Today I'm gonna be diving with my single tank scuba diving setup. I'm also gonna be using my Orca Torch dive light and I got a new pair of gloves from Seavenger. There's police lines still surrounding this entire area. I don't even know if I'm allowed to be in here so I hope I don't get in trouble, but I'm gonna get out of this area, go to the other side of the river and suit up and we're gonna get in this water. <laughs> Full drill bits that happened that would have made somebody so mad and then lost that. These are actually pretty expensive. Oh, I got it. 
We're going to talk about those two bodies that they found in just a second. But first, I wanted to show you guys what I found on the river really fast. I'm not 100%, but they look like teeth to me. They kind of look like some black porcelain caps, but if they are caps for teeth, they are old because they look like they would have been painful. There's some flat spots on it. There's a little bit of slag here on the side. I ran these things over a metal detector and uh, it, it didn't set it off at all. So this is definitely not metal, whatever it is. Either way, it was a really cool find. So the dive was really fun. We found a lot of amazing things, but we did not find anything that would have helped the cops solve this case any faster from those two girls that were found under the bridge. But at the time of this recording, right this second, they have two people in custody. And while they're not actually charged with murder yet, they have been charged in connection with the murders of these girls, which means they might have the right guys, but they're still gathering some more evidence before they can slap the murder charges on them. Either way, if you're curious to follow the story any more about these girls, I'll provide a link in the description down below and you can check out the news stories as they go along. This wasn't the first time that I've had to deal with something a little more serious. One time I found an urn in a different river and if you're curious about that video, make sure you click right there. And if you're digging my content and you want to see some more, make sure you subscribe by hitting that awesome logo right there. Until we meet again, my name is Jeremy and I'll see you on the next dive.